What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are uh, we're going to be doing something a little crazy. We are going to be buying this uh, this 2015 Ford Mustang GT and we are going to be engine swapping it and just going absolutely crazy. We are going to make one of the most powerful Mustangs in the game and so I, just, I figured it'd be a little bit different. Obviously we've been doing a lot of supercars and stuff. I want to give some love to the, the lower end here and so uh, we can still make them very fun and exciting. So uh, here we go, let's go ahead and buy this thing, dude. $66,500 for a 2015, is that right? Like that, honestly, that that seems a little aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I I like Mustangs, I don't dislike them. They're, they're kind of a bit of a run of the mill sports car, you know what I mean? They're, they're in that class of Mustang, Camaro, that you know Challenger, that sort of thing. Like they're, they're not uncommon, they're, Fast, but not too fast. I mean, the the you know the, the crazy like GT 500s and stuff are insane. But um, yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm excited to uh, to see what we could do. So let's head to the garage. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm also kind of excited. Uh, looks like we can upgrade all the way to a uh, 730 horsepower, six and a half liter V12. This is ridiculous, dude. I, I'm, I'm down to go for it. Here we go. $454,000. We could buy an Aventador for that price. And instead, it was just an engine swap on our Mustang. This is a $500,000 Mustang at this point. That is... That is just crazy. We can, uh, oh shoot, we can upgrade it a bit more, but we don't currently have that unlocked. So unfortunately, it's not going to be the max level Mustang in the game, but who knows, maybe we do unlock that stuff and at some point we'll we'll come back and revisit this. I want to see what our best option is here. Looking like the, the dual turbocharger, actually maybe maybe just the normal turbocharger. I'm going to go for that. Looks, uh, looks good. And then, of course, we're going to go with the huge 12-pound tank of NOS. Not, uh, not bad there. All right, so for suspension, I've really liked what we've been doing lately. We're going with the Showcase suspension uh, and the, the Showcase transmission as well as the on-road tires. That's a good mix of, of you know, grip and, and cornering, but also being able to get sideways. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. And um, I'll see you guys when we're ready for some, ready for some, some customization on the visual side. Dude, this thing is ridiculous. It's a level 351. It's it's equal to that GT3 RS that we did in our last episode. Like that this is just absolutely outrageous and I love every minute of it. So let's take a look at what the community's got for us. Ooh. I actually really like that, you know, kind of a classic look there. This is from Oh, I think we've got to pay ode. We've got to pay ode to payback. That's from payback. The, the blue with the white stripes looks really nice as well. Ooh, I actually, dude, that is gorgeous. Or we've got blue. Ooh, dude. Oh, man. I really, I, I like all these, but I, I think, I think we're going to pay Ode to Need for Speed Payback because that was one of my, one of my favorite games for sure. Do we like the darker gray or do we like, do we like the lighter with the, the better pinmanship, the better pinstripe there? It looks a little bit better. I think I'm going to go for this. All right, looks looks good to me. I like that a lot. So we've got that. Let's take a look at some of our customizations here. I think it's a a six out of ten for customization, so not not bad. We've got some Mustang RTR options here. I mean, you guys know I, I love me some carbon fiber, so we are definitely going to go with the carbon fiber there. Um, to be honest, I kind of like the stock grill a little bit better. Do we want a splitter on there? Probably not. I mean, that's that's not bad. That's not bad, but I kind of I kind of like the little like vampire tooths coming out of the 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 stock one here. Ooh. I'm going to go with that. That's kind of interesting, a little bit different. Do we want to smoke the headlights? I'm down to smoke the headlights, make it look a little bit meaner. Let's see what we've got going on for hoods. I like that first option the best right there, the little vents on the side, but you can still have some uninterrupted lines down the uh down the front of it. Front fenders looks like we only have one specific thing we're going to be able to do. We're going to go with this RTR wide body kit just to uh, to get a little little more aggressive. I like it. Oh baby, it's got the lime green on the side. Please don't do it to him. Please don't, dude. Ah, oh, so we can go with the black here, or we can go with this. I think I'm going to go with that. That matches our our front fenders a lot better. Definitely going to be darkening out these tail lights. We're going to go all the way, 100% tint, so you can't see up in my window. Um, no trunk lid options. We're gonna look at license plate in a minute. Do we not have a rear bumper that we can change? We don't. Okay. Well, that's that's all right. Let me see. I mean, that doesn't look bad right there. 
The carbon ones are... Ooh, I like that. The carbon ones are pretty insane. I like... I like... This one. It's it's a little stock, but it adds the carbon fiber. I don't want to get... I don't want to get too crazy. I feel like we've already gotten pretty crazy here. Let's take a look at our exhaust options. Definitely going to want something a little bit bigger, angled up. I like that right there. I like that a lot. And uh, now let's take a look at our spoiler. So we can go with a little lip there, a little bigger lip, or we can go... Ooh. See, that... Honestly, that's not bad. I know a lot of you guys don't really like ducktails, though. But I, I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to keep this nice and beautiful, but also, like, a little crazy, but also classy. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I feel like that's that's a solid way to go. Um, for wheels, what do you guys think? Hmm. Since this is a muscle car, I kind of I kind of like the idea of a, a bit of a, a sink to it, like a bit of a lip to it. Not too much lip. Like some of these get a little bit crazy, but I like a, a little bit of a lip. What do you guys think about this? I feel like those, dude, those look really nice. Oh my goodness. All right, I love it already. Now here's the thing. I don't think they have them, if my memory serves me correctly. But if we could get some lime green calipers in here, that would have been so beautiful. Dude, lime green calipers are honestly one of my favorite, one of my favorite, like, aspects of, of like, details of cars. Like, when you have some nice lime green calipers that really pop, they just look so good. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed here, honestly. Like, I, I, I really wish we had some, uh, some calipers, but that's, that's all right. I'm going to go with, um... Should we go with, I mean, I, I don't, this isn't really that big of a deal. Should we just go with some Toyo? I'm, I'm going to go with some Toyo tires on here, and we're going to go with uh, with the black, the black uh, calipers. She's a lean, mean, green fighting machine, baby. Oh my gosh. Do we have any greens, any lime greens? I don't think we do, to be honest. So we're going to have to go with maybe a, a plain old white like that looks pretty good. What do we want it to say? Um, oh, I don't want any. I don't, I don't like those covers. I'm going to say... I'm thinking something with pony pony up. I, I don't know. It's it's a Mustang. I, I guess that works. All right. Anyway, we're going to move on to stance here. Definitely going to lower this thing out. How low do we want to go? Low enough that we don't have too much camera. So I'm going to go somewhere like that. Effects, nitrous color. We're going to have some green nitrous, of course. I think we are going to put some some underglow on this thing. We're going to check it out at night. I'm going to go with that lime. Just because we haven't had that many lime cars yet, I want to see what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got exhaust. Let's start this thing up. It's got that V12 Lambo sound to it. I don't, I don't really like it in a Mustang. It doesn't seem to match. So I'm going to go custom, aggressive, raw, and metallic all the way. Let's see what this sounds like. I mean, it's got to be aggressive because it's a Mustang. I, I just don't really like the sound coming out of it. I mean, it's a cool sound, but that's that's kind of what you get when you... You swap a V12. Dude, it's gonna be so hard to get around that noise. <laughs> I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it's cool. It just doesn't, it doesn't really, doesn't really sound right in a Mustang. But that's all right. Who are we to judge? It's 2019, bro. You can, you can have whatever you want under your hood. And, uh, this is, this is a judgment free zone. This thing is so fast. One of the most ridiculous Mustangs ever. Bro, this thing is nuts. I'm kind of excited about it. You know, it's crazy to say, but I feel like this thing is kind of a sleeper. Like, you wouldn't really expect what was under the hood. I mean, obviously, if you saw it from the outside, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I got to put some money into his, his paint job. It's probably just a, you know, maybe, maybe it's got a few parts in there, upgraded air filter or something like that. You know, nothing crazy. Like, a few, few little upgrades. You wouldn't expect to have a Lamborghini V12 engine under the, uh, under the hood but here we are to be honest this is way too drift heavy it's it's way too way too loose oh my goodness i chose this race for a reason we've raced this one a, a few times before i like it it's a good city one that gives you a lot of corners a few straights as well but the, oh my god dude we have barely any speed and we're sideways i don't even think we're going to be able to win this thing we're, we're way over leveled above these guys but this thing is just it's so loose there's no way. I like the green NOS. The green NOS looks sick. 
Oh my goodness, that was an actually pretty good turn there. Back up into first. Dude, it's... Oh, baby! Okay, that was actually kind of nice. Maybe we can get used to it like we could with the, the GT3 RS, but it's it's looser than that. Like, this this is like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. That's how loose this is, dude. I mean, the speed is there. Oh, shoot. I messed this up. I always do this. This That corner is tough. We have critical damage already? We were going that fast. Okay. Hold your horses. There is a gas station over on the other side. So we we may we may be able to salvage this race yet if we don't wreck it by the time we get there. Use our nitrous. We're gonna try to get into this gas station. Oh, that's not a breakable wall. can rebuild anything. Yeah, we're gonna put we're gonna put some track tires on here. Drop the casual 10k on a set of tires. No big deal, bro. We've already put over half a million into this thing, so. What's another rack? That's just a drop in the bucket, and I can already tell this is gonna make a big difference. We aren't spinning our tires off the start. Look at that nice little drift around that first corner. All right, so this is uh, this is is kind of where we want to be. It definitely still has a little bit of drift to it, which we're gonna have to be careful. Oh, it's it's still got a lot of drift to it. All right, we gotta we gotta be a little careful about that. We may even have to put the the race differential and and stuff on. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying not to spin the tires here, but it, at low speeds with this much power behind us, we're just sliding. Dude, this is crazy. Honestly, hats off to the devs. Like this is is pretty much the same setup as we had in the GT3 RS yesterday, and it feels completely different here in the Mustang, as it should. But dude, look at this thing. We're just fishtailing all over the place. I definitely have track tires on. We're supposed to have a lot more grip. Oh my god, dude. What in the world? I keep having to lift. I have no clue what's going on because we're racing pretty well compared to the, the majority of the pack back there. But Mr. First Place up there just cannot cannot be tamed. Woo. Not bad. We're starting to starting to wrangle this pony a little bit. She's a uh, she's a fickle one though. I feel like we've got a wild Mustang here that we just lassoed. Feeling like we're in Red Dead Redemption or something and we're just trying to somehow Hold on for dear life. Come on, boy. Let's see if we can catch up. I still kind of think it might be too much, though. Like, we've improved on it, but... It might it might still be a little bit too much. It's time for some actual street racing here, baby. We switched over to nighttime, and uh, let's, let's see what we can do. I spent another 15K on a race or a track suspension and differential. Uh, driving to this race, it felt pretty good. It still feels loose though. Like I honestly, it just, I don't know if it's too much power for this chassis or what, but we're just, dude, we're, it's, it's hard to stay on the road. Like the, the, what's it called? The GT3 RS was bad. It was good, but it was bad. Like as in like it took a minute to get used to, but this thing, it's just, it, it's been ridiculous so far. I mean, our speed is incredible. We're doing 220 miles an hour right now, which is outrageous. Can we get any faster? How long are we gonna stay on this straight? Tell me we're gonna stay on this straight. Shoot. Let me get this nitrous. We're up to 230. I think we're topping out at 230. Dang it. I don't think the nitrous makes you go any fat. We're going in the water. 100%, yeah, we're, we're underwater there. We're still fine though, we're still in front. This is the fastest car we've had in this game, which is, does it make sense? Cause it's not the, the highest performance rating. Our, our Aventador was like, I don't know, 20% higher or so, but this thing is by far the, f <laughs> bro, this is ridiculous. We are going to be able to get away from the cops like that. This, th oh shoot. Let's, let's focus on keeping your, your hand on the, the controller, Trev. This thing like, it, it cruises at 200. Or at least like 150 plus. She uh, she feels pretty solid, man. I'm not gonna lie. Off roads pretty well too. All right, this this feels way better. I, I I'm sorry about those first couple of races, man. It just I I don't know. I couldn't I couldn't figure it out. This thing still gets sideways though. Beautiful, beautiful, dude. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, good stuff. Nothing like hitting invisible cop cars, man. We didn't even uh, we didn't take any damage for that though, so I guess I'll take it. 
I'm actually gonna try to earn some rep tonight with this thing. I feel like this is gonna be a rep monster. This thing is so ridiculously fast, dude. Like, absolutely outrageous how fast it is. And look at that performance. Look at look at that control. Able to stop right on a dime, right on top of our uh, our objective. Dude, this thing, yeah. This, I mean, world's fastest Mustang? Probably. There's probably something a little bit quicker out there, but it's up there for sure. She's a bit banged up, but she's going to be all right. Here we go. Race. Race number two of the nighttime. It feels good to actually get a first place in that last one. We haven't had many firsts in this Mustang yet. I like having a neon green hoodie on the inside, dude. That's, that's pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. We might have to start changing the fit with the cars. Just like we change our nitrous color and stuff, we'll have to change the fit to match some of the, the nicer ones. Some of the better ones. Like I said, dude, this thing cruises between 150 and 200. You just don't even have to think about it. It gets up there so fast and it acts so agile and so, so controlled at those speeds. This is, this is just ridiculous. We definitely haven't had a car this, this, this good at speed. I would, I would venture to say this might be one of our best cars. Like, in its current form, somehow, like, it's, it's, like I said, it's just so weird because these cars all behave so differently. Previously, if we had all track upgrades like we have right now, the car would not be able to get sideways. It would be so sticky to the ground, which is great in some scenarios and bad in others. This has, like, the, the perfect... I want them the perfect the mix, not to mention it's significantly faster than anything else we have. Like we're escaping from cops just by just by driving. We don't even have to have to hit the, the nitrous. Look at this dude. Perfect drifts around the outside. Insanely fast on the straights. Good e-brake drifts as oh what just happened right there? Good e-brake drifts as well. Speed to be able to pull away from cops. Like what can this thing not do? You know what I mean? About to blow the doors off these fools, dude. Oh, man. They don't know what's about to hit them. See ya. Woo! He wasn't ready. Oh, my goodness. Yo, what? Just happens. Don't go into the water this time, Trev. Come on. We're not trying to sink to the bottom of the ocean this time. Oh, shoot. These guys are still kind of on us, but I think we're going to be able to get them around this next bend. Hit a nice little, nice little drift. Oh, we should have started a bit earlier. Dude, we are so fast, man. They're still on us, but we should be able to, we should be able to get them on this straight here. Especially if we unlock our nitrous. Just kidding, we don't even need it. <laughs> this thing is, this is nuts. I'm just going to run a couple more races, collect some rep. I mean, we're almost at a four star. I don't know if I want to push five stars tonight. I think we're just going to take our money and run and, uh, and call it a good night. You go out, you go around, you go through the city, and you end near a garage. This is kind of the perfect way to end it, because we're definitely going to be at a four-star by the time we get out of this thing, whether we get chased or not. We're, uh, ooh. It doesn't really drift at speed very well, huh? It drifts like this nicely, though. Like, look look at that, dude. Yeah, it ends near a garage, so we're definitely going to be at a four-star level. We're going to get that four times multiplier. We're going to we're gonna rank up, you know, up into the mid-42s, which is pretty solid. We need to get to rep level 50. That's where you unlock uh, unlock all of your all of your abilities and, and features and stuff. So we're gonna get up there. Not even remotely concerned with the cops, dude. Okay, we're concerned with that. That's not good. That took about a quarter off our health. We're okay though. There is a there's a gas station in front of us. I don't think we need it though. I think we're gonna be okay. Here we go. Hit these nitrous. Woo! Dude, we are already 50% of the way done with this race. We're up to 200 miles an hour by the time our nitrous finishes. This this is the most ridiculous vehicle I, I think I've ever raced with in any racing game. Like, this is fun. If you guys have 500k lying around, put it into a Mustang, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's good life advice any other time except for right now, but... It, it definitely is right now. Alright, I'm gonna slow down a bit because there's a car up there. There's a cop. Literally not concerned in the slightest. Goodbye, Mr. Cop. It was nice to see you. Oh my god. I didn't want to hit the spike strip. I thought you could break those. Apparently you can't. Okay. 
Well, that did a lot of damage to us. I'm gonna go ahead and start making our way towards our garage. I think we should be good. The car's hurting. If we... Watch out for the water. If we end up wrecking into anything right here, that's that's kind of gonna be a GG, but I... I think, I think we're good. I think we made it. 298,000 rep, four star heat level, bada bing, bada boom. Shake off the hands, that was a good night. This is the best car we've ever made. This is gonna be our go-to car when we need to get high rep and stuff like that. That was insane. I guess the moral of the story is if you ever see a Mustang riding around in your neighborhood, there could be a V12 Lamborghini engine under there, so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Do you want something like a supercar? Do you want something a little bit more fun and different like this? Should we go back and maybe, you know, do something super old school? Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Peace out.